All right, so uh, this is the aftermath of today's ultimate comic book collectors, whatever you want to call it, in Poughkeepsie, New York, Manhattan Civic Center. Bill obviously did a lot of damage today. You've already seen what I bought, not much. Bill, your fans want to hear from you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, kind of doing the... Did you videotape what we got here? Yeah. Probably one of the gems today for me, Captain Marvel number two. Yep. Uh, That's a great one. Daredevil's down here, 118, 115, 108. Uh, the Beetle, we've talked about this villain. Oh, yes. Some Batmans. Cool. Uh, good issues. Uh, got these for a buck a piece. How can you go wrong? Can't beat that. You know? These as you can see, a lot of Captain America and the Falcon here today. We got some uh, Jack Kirby right down here. We're gonna, these are Thor reprints. Oh, look at that, the Wrecker. There. Oh, so these are all done by Jack Kirby. Look at number three. I have number one and two. I think I needed three. Contest of Champions. The very first Marvel uh, repeat uh, series. It's a three-part series, and I only had issue one, so I got number two for a buck. How can you go wrong? Nice Thor. Yep. 236. 221 with Hercules. Hard to find anything with that. Thor and Hercules. Great, Great cover. cover. <laughs> uh, Jack Kirby. Yeah. There's a Jack, Jack, Jerk, Jack Kirby jaw. That jawline. Uh, by the way, 215 was my first Captain America. Uh, Another Thor. 227. Kirk again. Great cover. Ghost Rider number six. I mean, six dollars. I got. I have twenty-four and twenty-one. Number twenty-three. Okay. Another Captain America. Two twenty-five. Gil Kane cover. Daredevil one thirteen. Like, oh, this is one of the all-time great Daredevil. Look at covers. that cover the with uh, the Gladiator, and I got a better price than fifteen dollars. And the Daredevil with Man Thing. That's a good one. Awesome. And here's a beat-up Daredevil. They wanted five bucks. I got these three for twenty-five. So what I was talking about before is, I believe this is a Frank Robbins cover. Just look at look at how. I mean, you cannot even compare that to like one of those great Kirby covers. I mean, no disrespect to Frank Robbins. He did a lot of those Invaders books, but man, just not not the same. And oh, well, there's more. more. Let's go, let's keep the show rolling here. Uh, trying to stay on the theme of Captain America. Yep. This was a special one for me today, gang. Issue 200. Oh yeah, look at that. I figured what the hell, I'm not gonna find it again. So I jumped on it. Put some shade in here. Don't keep your comics in the sunlight, kids. <laughs> Thor 259. My first was 261. 223. I got a lot. I went off on the Captain Americas here. 224. 222. 221. I could have got these all last year for a buck a piece, but didn't buy them. So I was like, you know what? I'll go again. And I haggle with the people. I did last year. You bought a lot of these Captain Americas? <laughs> I got Americas? a lot of these last year, yeah. All right. I needed all these because I needed a lot of post 200 issues. My first Captain America was 227. Jack Kirby Orama here. Right children. here. Jack Kirby. 204. Look at the monster eyes. That's right. Gotta love it. 203. Look at the, that's the classic Kirby jaw oh, yeah. right there. Yep. And uh, 202. That's a great cover. I think I had 201 in here somewhere. I think I got them all. But I definitely made a big dent. And then what's this pile over here? Oh, show more. us, show us. I will. <laughs> Hang on, damn it. <laughs> I needed I needed 151 from the Fantastic Four and 140 I've needed for a there long go, time. Yeah. So it closed a big, big hole in the gap. Major, we shot this earlier. <laughs> My uh, gem today, last issue of the Silver Surfer. And who's that on the front? Black Bolt from the Inhumans. Yes. And, and the rest of them, they're all down there. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. cover. I do not have that one. King size special Spider-Man with the Shocker. I have number five, so I had to get number eight. This only and kids, if you were watching our Spider-Man episode recently, you heard Bill say he does not have many issues with the Shocker. Well, he's just added to it. Right yeah, there. that was the thing. Uh, Super villain team up. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, the, I only have issues three and five, so now I got six, four, and I think that was it. I don't know. If yeah, I you put you put one back. I think I did. Yeah. Submariner number six. A ninth, yeah. Issue number 19. It's probably from 1970. 15 yeah. center. It's a beauty. For six bucks. How can you go wrong? Like this. Issue 23. Orca. That's a great cover. I don't have a lot of Submariners. I only had three of them. I had issue six, issue 12. Now I got 19, 23. I also have 46. We'll go back. Sticking with Submariner. Issue 27. Look at that. The Kraken. 
and issue 10 battle with hercules and then oh back to the super villains <laughs> issue nine yeah. there we go so back to jack uh luke cage i issues 21 and 23 he had 22 but he won like 15 bucks for it i wasn't gonna jump on that if you like batman i i bought a lot of batmans when i was collecting they were in the 320s so here's 308 312, 316, 321, 317, the Riddler. There we go. Gotta like that. There's that question mark. Maybe you should send this to Jack. Here's yeah. my shirt, Jack. <laughs> Iron Man 170. My last Iron Man in my subscription is 168. So I, I jumped on it. But that's my haul today, kids. All right. I'm Wild Bill saying thanks for watching. Comic Book Geezers. And I'm Peak, just so you know I'm still here too. Yes, our cameraman. I was gonna hold one up there. Saying, there you go. Thanks again for watching us. We yeah, hope you enjoy our uh, escapade at the comic convention. Today was today. A, what is it all about to shop and get comics. That's right. That's what it's all about, guys. So we'll see you soon with our regularly scheduled program. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.